safe and healthy. I pray that it helps me to be a good child. I also pray for good grades, and most of all, I just pray for peace in my family, but that's about it. That's it. That's what I want to do. I want to learn how to pray. I want to pray like Jerry prayed, you know, for my family and peace and stuff, like that. Well, then just do it. Go ahead and pray. Well, I don't want to pray by myself. Will you guys pray with me? Fine, but first we have to get on our knees. Mike, you and I will pray on this side of the aisle, and Bobby, you and Kevin will pray on that side of the aisle. That way we're facing each other in case one of us runs out of words. <laughs> what do you mean, run out of words? I don't want to pray by myself. Jerry, you should pray. You don't want to pray about everything. Fine, then I'll lead prayer, Bobby, but when I'm done, we all have to say in Jesus' name, amen, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What does amen mean? It means that's how we know for sure that Jesus heard us. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus, what are you doing writing a letter? Shut, Shut up, Bobby. Bobby. Go ahead, Jerry. Dear Jesus, thank you for all of us in this room. Please keep us safe and healthy. Bless our families and give us great peace. Please help us to do good in school and help Bobby's church to stop singing. Let Mike and Kevin win their games and bless Kevin and his family with their great peace. And we all say together, in, in Jesus', Jesus name, name, amen. amen. Mom, I'm home. Mom, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'll be okay, Kevin. I just have a lot on my mind, that's all. I just need some time to think. So tell me, sweetie, how was your guys' night? Did you do anything exciting? Oh, Mom, it was the best. I learned so much and had a lot of fun. So much like what, sweetie? Well, for starters, I found out that God is a person not part of a swear word. And that he has a son, too. His name is G. I I mean, just so wonderful. Kevin, what are you talking about now? You know your father doesn't want you talked about that religious stuff. You're lucky he's not home to hear this. Now listen to me. Like I told you before, there's no such thing as God or Jesus. So just get those crazy thoughts out of your head before your father gets home. But, Mom, I felt him. He gave me peace, Mom. I want you to have it, too. What do you mean you felt them? Oh, my God, has someone been touching you? No, Mom, no, not like that. I mean his spirit. His spirit touched me. That's how I got peace in my heart. Kevin, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't have time for this. Has Mike's dad been filling your head with all this nonsense? No, Mom, Mike's dad doesn't have anything to do with this. You're not listening to me. I'm trying to tell you something. <sighs> You're trying to tell me what, sweetie? What are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you that I want you to have my peace so that you won't have to cry or feel sad anymore. Kevin, baby, peace is not what we need. What we need is money to help pay some of these bills around here. Now, honey, that's a wonderful thing you're trying to do, but I don't think your Jesus can help us with what we need. Mom, when I was five years old and you and Dad were in your room, I heard some man on TV talking about Jesus. He said that Jesus can give you great peace. That was when I started looking for Jesus so that I could save up my allowance money to buy you some peace. I even made a promise to myself that I was going to buy you some peace if it was the last thing that I did. Yesterday, me and the guys went to, I mean, hung around, talking. And they started telling me about Jesus and how he died on the cross for our sins. And then, up until last night, Mom, I thought that God was just a part of the swear word, because at least that's the only time Dad ever uses that word. I know you don't believe me about Jesus, but it has to be something that's real about him. Because think about it, how many 11 and a half years old do you know that has been looking for one man for six years just to buy his mom some peace? They even taught me how to pray to him. What do you mean they taught you how to pray? What did they tell you? They said, just talk to him, kind of like you're talking to me, except without yelling. <laughs> Jerry said that the Bible said that Jesus did all kinds of good things for people. He brought people back to life and healed people. It said that he did all kinds of good things for people. I believe him, Mom. I know you don't, but I hope you did. 
Oh, yeah. They even said that. Mm -hmm. Oh, they even said that Jesus like, knows you even when you don't know him. Wait. Okay, Kevin, enough of this about finding me peace from Jesus. Boy, you're starting to scare me. Now look, I'm just going to forget that you said all this because if your father knew about this, you know he would put a serious hurting on that behind. But I want you to know this, the next time you bring this religious stuff in this house, I will discuss it with your father. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. Now I want you to go to your room and think about what I just said. Dear Jesus, I know that this is, this is my first time talking about myself. I hope you don't mind that. I just don't know what to do. My mom can't hear a word I'm trying to say to her, and I know better than to talk to my dad about anything that concerns you. Was it ever this hard for you when you were a kid? Or were you ever a kid? I just wish there was a way to get my mom and dad to believe in you so that they can hear me when I'm talking and not just send me to my room. I know I'm just rambling right now and you're busy, but if you do get the time, could you give her the piece we talked about last night? If not, it's okay. Maybe next time. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hey, baby. Something smells mighty good. Come here. What's the matter with you? Come here. Dinner be ready in a few. All right. By the way, where's the kids at? Um, Kevin's in his room and Sarah's at her grandmother's. Good, good. Oh, by the way, how's, uh, how's Kevin been? He's not talking about that religious junk anymore, is he? Oh, no, no. I've already talked to him about it, and he's through with all that for good this time. I promise you. All right, good. I'm glad he finally came to his senses. Hey, Mike. You looking for Kevin? Yes, ma'am. Is he home? Yes, he is. He's upstairs in his room. You could go on up. Thanks. Was that Mike, Frank's boy? That boy's getting so big, I hardly didn't even recognize him. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, come in. What's up, Mike? What are you doing here? Kevin, don't tell me you forgot. Come on, this is the biggest game of the season, and you forgot? Oh, man, I really did forget. What time do we play today? Kevin, man, are you feeling okay? I mean... We don't play until tomorrow, but our last practice game is today. Man, you've been excited about this all week. Now you act like you don't remember a thing. I know, man. I'm sorry. I just got a lot on my mind. That's all. That I can't even think straight. A lot like what? Well, have you ever felt like your parents can't hear you when you're talking? Yeah, like being deaf or something? No, not like being deaf. I'm talking about when you're trying to tell them how you feel, but they're just not really understanding or hearing you when you're talking. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Kind of like when I'm talking to my dad about baseball and how I don't always want to pitch because my arm may be hurting, but he's not hearing me, so if I throw a bad ball, he yells at me. That's exactly what I'm talking about. They're not hearing us when we're talking. I tried to tell my mom about Jesus and how he gave me peace and how I wanted her to have my peace so that she wouldn't have to cry or feel sad all the time. But she said, no, we don't need peace. We need a way to pay for these bills. And then she told me if I mentioned Jesus again that she was going to tell my dad and that she can only imagine what he would do to me. Mike, sometimes I just feel like growing far away and getting a new family. A family that I don't have to hide my feelings from. Someone who can love me no matter what I believe and not just shut me out. Someone who can hear me. Man, Kev, I ain't know it was this bad. So what are you going to do? Are you going to find a new family? Wait, how do people find new families? Do they just look in the newspaper or something? I don't know. I've never thought of it before now. But you would think that you could find some in the newspapers. Hey, wait, I got an idea. What is it? Well, Bobby's dad delivers the daily newspapers every day, right? Okay. So he can get today's papers. He have to have pounds for rent or something. Families for rent? 
That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. You can't rent families. You can probably buy them, but you can't rent them. Well, if you can't rent them, how do you know if you can buy them? I don't know. If you can buy and sell a baby, you got to be able to buy a family. I mean, after all, once you buy a new baby, it's going to a new family, isn't it? So I can... Wait a minute. I got a great idea. Instead of buying a new family, why don't you sell yourself to a new family? And sell myself to a new family? How do I do that? You know, the same way they do babies. If you can buy a baby, you got to be able to buy a kid. So you won't have to come up with the money. They'll have to come up with the money. Well, who are they going to give the money to? It's not like they're going to give it to me for me. Good point. Uh, I'll sell you to them. Mike, who's going to buy me from a kid? What are you talking about? People buy drugs from kids every day. Mike, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not a drug. I know you're not a drug, Kevin, but maybe the, people, the kids that sell the drugs to adults can help us find a buyer for you. Um, where do we find the kids that sell to adults? Do we find them in the paper, too? I don't know. Uh, hey, wait. You remember those guys over at Freeman's Park that play basketball all the time? You know, with the girls with the little short skirts walk around modeling all the time? Ooh, yeah. What did they do that anyway? Is there a modeling agency around there or something? I don't know. Anyway, we can go find some kids over there. I don't know, Mike. That's a really bad area. Not to mention, it's on the other side of town. Look, you want to find a new family, don't you? That means you got a girl with the people who know how to find a buyer for you are. Well, how are we going to get over there? It's not like we can ride our bikes all the way over there. And what are you going to tell your dad about practice? You know how strict he is about practice. I don't know. Why don't you tell your folks you're going to spend another night at my house? And then we can go to practice. Then afterwards, we'll tell my dad the guys are going bike riding. Uh, that all sounds great, except... I don't think my mom's gonna let me spend another night at your house anytime soon because she knows we talk about Jesus. <laughs> oh man, why'd you have to go and tell her that? You know how she is. I know, man. I just thought that this time it would be different when I talked to her. I know, man. I know. I'll tell you what. Practice is going to be on a couple of hours, so we'll tell your folks it may last a little longer since it's the last game of the season. That'll give us enough time to get over there, find some kids, get back before our folks get suspicious. Now that sounds like a plan, but wait a minute. How are we going to get over there? We'll just take a bus. How much money do you have? I only have $3.25. Okay. I have one, two... Three, four, four dollars and fifteen cents. So all together we have seven dollars and forty cents. That should be enough to get us there and back. Okay, great. So I'll get my gear and we can go downstairs and tell my dad. Kevin, man, are you sure you want to do this? I mean, selling yourself and all? Mike, the way I see it, no matter what I do or say, my folks won't let me be. My dad would rather beat me than listen to me and my mom stops me from talking and sends me to my room. So how can I ever learn about Jesus or anything else I want to know about if the people I love the most can't even hear me when I'm trying to tell them that I need them? So that's why I try trying to sell myself to a new family that can love me and accept me for me. Man, Kev, that's deep. Just know this. Whatever family you get, I'll always be your best friend. So please try to pick a family that's close. I love you, man. I love you too, man. So where are you boys off to? Uh, we have our last practice game today. And knowing my dad, this might take a while. Well, you tell old Frank I said not to put it on you too hard. And you better get going because he'll get mad at you. Oh, oh by the way, when is the big game? Uh, tomorrow. All right, now I'm bringing all the fellas from work down. So y'all better win, make me proud, and let me know, all right? Now, Mike, I'll see you later. Kevin, don't be in such a hurry to get out of here. I'll see you later on the night, all right? Okay, well, Dad. I should I do that? Bye. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye.
Hey, Mike, this is not the park. I don't know. The last time we were over here, we are on the bus for a field trip. We never actually got off the bus. The only stop that we made here was at a park. Yeah, that was when we saw those girls in the short mullen skirts. Now what do we do? How are we going to find any kids out here? What park are you talking about, kid? Uh, Freedom's Park. You two boys got a dip push or something? What kind of business you got over there? No, sir. We don't have a death wish. We're just trying to find Freedom's Park. Well, it's your funeral. It's two blocks up on the right. All right. Thanks, mister. Come on, Kevin. Okay, it's only two blocks. Hey, Mike! Look, there's those two girls in the shirt mask. Better up close. I bet you she's in some kind of magazine or something. Yeah, that looks like the same girl on my dad's magazine. You know, the one who was on his personal chair. Oh no, they're coming over here. Yeah, you're starting mighty early, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just trying to find a buyer for my friend here. Selling your friend? How cute. Funny, we seem to be in the same business because we're selling ourselves too. Wow, I didn't know they bought adults too. I thought they bought babies and kids. Yeah, I thought they only bought adults. I didn't know it was babies and kids. <laughs> there are some real sick people out there. So, why are you selling yourself? I don't know. It's really hard trying to make it in the world today. I mean, I tried their way one time, but when I needed their help, they pushed me away and shut me out. They refused to hear me, so I went out and I did what I thought was right. I found me and um, this is me. So now, it doesn't matter if they hear me or not, I hear me. Well, I didn't know adults go through the same things that kids do. I mean, what you just said makes a lot of sense because that's the same reason I'm selling myself. I was looking for some peace. And Jesus gave it to me. They took it away and didn't even use it. So that's why I decided to sell myself to a family that can hear me and set me for me. So how did Jesus give you peace and how do you know someone that gave it to you? Oh, uh, it was definitely Jesus. My mom and dad have always told me that Jesus isn't real. I thought that God was just a part of the swear word. One night, my friends and me went to our friend Jerry's dad's church, and his dad started talking about peace and Jesus. He said that Jesus loved you and took all of our wrong away and made it right. Then he asked me if I believed what he was telling me. He said, yes. I said, yes. In my heart, it just feels right. So, yes, I believe it. And then I asked him about peace. He said it's that warm, calm feeling that you get in your heart. And that's called peace. That's what I want too. Some peace. What's your name? Kevin. My name is Kevin. And this is my best friend, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. My name is Jasmine, and this is my friend, Kimberly. Kevin, I don't know where you came from or who sent you, but I do know that neither one of us should be selling ourselves tonight or any night. I do believe that we can work this out some other way. And maybe it was meant for you to find me and me to find you. I don't know, but I do know that we're both looking for the same things. Maybe you're right. Maybe you are my So then we'll just have to find peace together. Deal. I'm going to hold you to that. Hey, what do you guys say? You go across the street and get a soda. Sounds good to me. Me too. Me three. All right, let's go. Wait a minute. Y'all be careful crossing the street. It's real busy and these fools cannot drive. All right, let's go. Phew, we all made it. Dang, I forgot my purse. Don't worry, I will get it. No, get it! Get it! Stop! 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 Get it!
Honey, what time is it? Um, it's almost 9.30. Now, I know that Frank wouldn't have them boys out practicing this late at night. I know there's a big game tomorrow and everything, but this is ridiculous. I'm going to call Frank and find out what's going on. Hello? Hey, Frank, I was just getting ready to call you. What's going on? I... What do you mean? That's what I was going to ask you if Kevin was at your house. What do you mean practice was over around 8 o'clock? Then where the heck is Kevin? Bike riding. They said, what? Bike riding? Bike riding where? Did all the boys go? So only Mike and Kevin went? Where the heck could they have gone? Hey, hold on. This is Jim, Bobby's dad. Hey, Jim, what's going on? What? Okay. Hey, uh, honey, turn to Channel 5. Jim said there's a big accident across town. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, here it is. Oh, my God. Honey, come look at this. Hey, Jim, we got it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, Frank, you still there? Yeah, turn to Channel 5. Jim said there's a big accident across town. This is Madeline Mays with Newswatch 5. We are here two blocks from Freeman's Park where a drive-by shooting had occurred. As the car was passing by, the suspects ran into a little boy. We've been told the little boy died three times before arriving at the hospital. At this time, the child's name is unknown. Excuse me, can you tell me what happened here? Yeah, that boy, he was, he was flying high, high up in the air. Hey, mama! Hey, mama, can I get a shot up? He, he was flying high in the air, you know, kind of like Air Jordan, except this ain't NBA Live. But uh, Puddin, where Puddin at? Puddin? Puddin, tell him what happened. Thank you. Miss Pudding, can you tell you, us what you saw? Yeah, I had just gotten off from work. Oh, 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 okay.